Hi, right, window watchers. I had this up here on the bulletin board, but now I'm going to take it down because we want to talk about this. Remember today I told you that Earl Rom is going to be here to tell us some more things about ants. And here he is right here. Earl, we talked about ants a little bit. We talked about uh, making houses for them. Good. And I see that you Good. brought your ant house over, but sure instead of looking at it right now, let's talk first of all about some ants, and then we can kind of save the best for the last. Okay, okay? fine. Um, this right here, the picture that we had up in the bulletin board, do you want to explain this or should well, we leave this until we... We can do that now. We, all right. Uh, this is a rough sketch of an ant house. And uh, you notice this is the ground level running across here. And this, of course, is down in the ground. We've kind of cut a surface across there. And these two, this is the center of the ant hill. You notice the... Uh, the tunnels then run down into the earth and they are much more, uh, they extend out a lot more than here in this picture. This is just part. This is just a small portion. They have a portion. regular hotel down there. <laughs> they don't sure they? do. This uh, opening over here uh, could be used for a number of things. Probably they use that to do some of their agricultural work in that uh, large cavern there. On down further here we have some openings where they are probably nurseries where the uh, Mm -hmm. right, here. right there, where the uh, worker ants have carried the uh, young ants to the various nurseries and are feeding them different diets as they, as they grow. They may transfer them from one nursery to another one and give them a different diet. Well, now, are they born right here in these little nurseries? No, the queen lays the eggs over here on this side in the, uh, well, I don't know what, quite what we would call that. Right uh, there? The queen's house, maybe we'd call that, or the queen's room. Yes, yeah, she lays her eggs there and then the worker ants carry those eggs from there over into some of the other rooms in the ants colony. They just pick the eggs up one at a mm -hmm. time then probably go right up up here and then mm -hmm. carry them down here and drop them over there. Over there. Uh, they, they don't drop them though. They handle them very carefully. Very care well oh, I yes. suppose seeing as eggs they probably <laughs> break. I doubt if ants eggs are as touchy as hen's eggs. Well though. now ants eggs are they covered like a, a hen's egg? With a hard shell? With a hard shell? No. No they're not. They're very soft. And uh, they hatch rather soon into the young ants, which are very uh, small, of course, and they're white. And if any one of our uh, audience here has seen these ants' uh, tunnels, they've noticed the little white things that many of the ants pick up and run with when they open uh, an ant colony. Uh -huh. Well, those are young ants. They're not eggs. Oh, they're little baby ones. Baby ants, that's right. And then they change over into a... Uh, sort of a pupa case where they change from the larva of ant to the adult ant. Well, they're just like the uh, mm -hmm. uh, moths and butterflies that we talked about then. That's they're, right. The larva is a little worm-like. Well, thing. they're not exactly worm-like. They're more like a, well, what they make me think of is a, uh, a papoose, you know, an Indian papoose in a uh, cradle sort uh -huh. of affair. Well, that's what these uh, young ants look like. They're uh, very, uh, they're, they're helpless and completely helpless. Oh, and right. that's the reason the workers have to carry them from one place to another and feed them and uh, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, now, workers. Uh, we talked some last week with Tiny Gunderson about worker termites. Now, mm -hmm. are there worker ants, too? They termites sure are. are social insects. Our ants are social insects, too. They, they fit right into the social insect picture, just like the bees and the wasps and some of those things. Well, what else do they have besides workers? Well, we have some uh, drawings here of some of these. Uh, different castes, we call them, in the ant world. The first one, of course, is the queen. Uh, you remember that the uh, termites, they had a winged uh, sexual form. The males and females got wings and flew out and sailed around. Well, so did the ants have wings. And uh, then after the uh, two have mated, then the queens go back to their colonies and they break off their wings. They don't need the wings anymore. In fact, they'd be in the way in that tunnel that they live in. Oh, and uh, this is a picture of a queen after she has gone back to her colony. You notice how large her abdomen is over here. Let's see, right there, you see it's very large. Uh -huh. And it's because she is producing so many eggs all of the time. She, that's all she does after she goes back to her colony is produce eggs. And then she doesn't have any wings, like this one here doesn't have any this, wings. She will never, would never have any wings again after she's once had wings. Mm, I see. Uh, the worker ants feed her and take care of the eggs after she lays them and so forth. Mm -hmm. She's entirely helpless and uh, uh, will, that's, that's her main function. Well, what other kinds are there then besides? Uh, 
Well, we've mentioned the worker. Okay. Maybe we should uh, show the worker okay, uh, ant to them. Right you notice here, here that the, uh, the worker ant is much smaller than the queen, and she does not have the abdomen, uh, the full size, uh, the large size, as the queen does. Oh, this, this part here, right? It's much the smaller. Abdomen, mm -hmm. it? It's very small. And uh, uh, on the other hand, she looks, uh, this worker looks very much like the queen does, except for that large sized abdomen that the queen has. Mm -hmm. The uh, worker ha ants are all female ants. The males of the colony, uh, after their mating flight, the males die off or are uh, just uh, around there until they naturally do die. Uh, the ant colony, except during the time when there are winged forms, the uh, ant colony is composed entirely of female ants. Oh, I see. Now, the, well, the other caste that we have uh, to think about mainly is the soldier ant. Soldier. Uh huh. We have to. These ant colonies have to have protection, just like countries seem to have to have nowadays. Termites had soldier ants uh, too. That's uh, not soldier ants. Oh, soldier I mean soldier termites. <laughs> soldier termites. That's right. Uh, what's the the uh the well? The main difference between these. Uh, this isn't exactly what we'd call a good drawing, but it uh, serves the purpose, I believe. It. Uh, you see the the large head there, with the uh, very heavy uh, mouth parts. The, right uh, here, is this mm -hmm. the mouth? Yes, Tooth? those are, we call them mandibles or teeth. Teeth. Mm -hmm. They, uh, of course, are what the soldiers use to protect the colony. They use those big mouth parts to crush other insects. Once in a while they are useful too. Uh, some ants will eat seeds and the soldiers will crush the seeds for the rest of the colony. The rest of the mm -hmm. colony, But it's us usually they use them to protect themselves. Well now, what do, do ants have to protect themselves against? Well, mainly other ants. Um, Th that is the ant's main enemy here in uh, Iowa particularly the ant's main enemy is other or are other ants <laughs> the uh, some of the other types of ants well now let me see how many ants I can think of having seen um, sometimes along on the sidewalks we see these great big well they're not great big they're about that big I mm -hmm. suppose but these big black ants walking back and forth mm -hmm. and carrying things so there are big black ants. Mm -hmm. Are there little black ants too? Oh, they're varying sizes, yes. And sometimes I see these little, or these bigger black ants running up and down trees. What are they uh -huh. doing on the trees? Well, some of the ants, some of those big black ants, the very big ones, sometimes getting almost an inch long, are carpenter ants. And they build their homes in wood rather than in soil like we showed here in our picture. Oh, uh, right. And uh, they live in wood. And those big black ones, they uh, chew out the inside of the wood, sometimes of dead trees, sometimes they get into houses too. Do they eat this wood no, like the termites? No, they don't eat the wood. They um, just hollow out the area to live in it. Oh, I see. They and take uh, a bite and they dump it outside. They dump it outside. That's right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They just use it to make uh, the house from. Well, now, I've been wondering, uh, you mentioned that the male ants died sometimes down inside their little hotel or underground, wherever uh -huh. they were living. Um, what happens to them? Do they have a burial yard, <laughs> seeing as they're social insects, or what do no, they do with them? No, uh, most of them are carried from the colony and dumped out on the surface of the ground. Just get them out of the way is about what they do. They don't have any real burial ceremony. And uh, they, uh, in some colonies, they do eat them, but those are purely the cannibalistic ants. They, uh, most ants, carry them out and leave uh -huh. them on the surface of the soil. Well, now, I know sometimes in the summer, if I leave some bread out, you know, forget to put it away overnight, or forget to wipe off the <laughs> counter and leave a few crumbs laying around, I'll get up in the morning and find all these little tiny red ants mm -hmm. running around. Yeah. They're Are they, do they carry these little crumbs back They'll to their They'll carry uh, the little crumbs or they'll carry uh, syrup or honey or sugar back to their nest. Uh, that brings up an interesting point too, Sonny. Uh, the ants are developed in different ways, different types of ants. Uh, some of the ants are what we call hunting ants. And these hunting ants are, uh, <coughs> well, they're rather prehistoric, they're primitive. These hunting ants go out, they send out one or many uh, ants together and they'll go out and find other insects to eat and they'll uh, catch them and drag those insects back to the colony and eat them. Then another type of, of ant that uh, we have are what we call the herdsman ants. You know, these herdsman ants, they uh, have captured plant lice and aphids, <coughs> uh, or aphids, and uh, these aphids secrete a sticky, uh, syrupy-like material. It's very sweet, and these ants have learned to like it very much. 
and uh, so they've captured some of these plant lice and taken them back to their homes and maybe in one of those caverns like we showed in our drawing uh, they have kept some of these herdsman ants so there's some of these uh, plant lice so that uh, they can milk them for their honeydew it uh, uh, apparently satisfies that sweet sweet craving that they have oh I see in other words then they go out and they uh, take care of these little plant lice and they sometimes take them back into their hotel room right, yeah. and uh, raise them bring them up just like they were Cows. Something very special, mm -hmm. just like cows. Sure. They can, oh, mm -hmm. I see. They, just they, have their they own keep milk factory there. That's right. Well, that's and, very interesting. And uh, another group of another type of ant is the uh, well, we call them agricultural ants because they uh, they have learned to like a particular type of moss or fungus, and they have taken uh, plantings of this moss or fungus back to their colony. And in some of these underground caverns, this moss or fungus will be planted on rotting leaves or uh, pieces of wood and then they'll have their own crops right there in their colony. They eat that moss or fungus. Oh, so some of them are really farmers too. They're, they're that's exactly what they are. Uh -huh. Boy, they're smart little fellows, aren't they? <laughs> Very much so. Well, I see you have a picture here, uh, Earl, of an ant and a termite. Let's look at this picture again because I can remember one of the differences between an ant and a termite and I remember that this difference, um, one of the differences is that an ant has what you call, wasn't it a wasp waste, waste. waste-like mm -hmm. waistline? Very, very narrow waist. Very narrow in here. And the termite is just straight up and down there. That's right. But mm -hmm. I was quite interested too uh, with the difference with the uh, wings. Mm -hmm. The termites have wings that are much the same uh, size, two, two pairs of almost the same size wings, while the ant has two pairs of wings, one very large and one small. Maybe we should uh, unveil our house here. Sunday Let's do. Day. I told the window watchers that uh, you might be bringing over your ants. Notice house. we have it covered with paper so that the ants will work a little bit along the uh, edge of the glass so we can see them. Oh, that ant house is just like the one that we... we yes, uh, just like the one you built. Mm -hmm, or I showed them uh, the other day. We talked about mm -hmm. yesterday. And this is where you drop them in, right? Well, right we put top. them in. For, we took this top board off to put the dirt and ants I in see. there. The... Uh, uh, maybe you can see here on the glass, can you point out those, that little uh, opening in the soil there full of young ants? Right there. Uh-huh. There are probably several hundred young ants right there in that little uh, cavern, I suppose you'd call it. And uh, it, these, of course, are partway grown young ones, and they will be fed daily until they get full grown, and then they'll uh, change over into the adult ants. Uh-huh. Well, you know, as I look at this, Earl, I can see... Uh, some of the little roads that they've built mm -hmm. leading from one of these cavern-like places to another. I see a whole lot of them running here from the nursery. That's right. And uh, this is just many of the things that we can watch what's going on inside this little ant colony. And I want to thank you very much for coming over. I've learned a lot about ants. I didn't know they were had so mer very many activities going on. Oh, so thank busy. you, Earl Ron, for coming over. And uh, we'll see you again, okay? Goodbye now.